All right, we got a uh, Unity-related question from Habitual Coder. I'm coming from Unity and just started Gallo. Okay, that's a Gallo question. Love the engine, but the tutorial resources are lacking compared to Unity. Any suggestions for someone used to the Unity tutorial world? Yeah, I, I touched on this in the tutorial hell video because someone asked about being in tutorial hell and sort of the lack of um, Gato tutorials. You know, Unity has been around longer. It's going to have more stuff. It's the, the hobbyist game engine. So there's going to be more people making more content and more tutorials for Unity. That's just the reality of the world. There is definitely more stuff being created uh, for Gato and more people making it. In fact, I, in the last two years that I've um, been doing this myself, like I see way more new people making tutorial videos and, and really unique tutorial videos, things that uh, are not just sort of your standard how to make a 2D platformer and make something jump. There's more coming for sure. And I think as the engine continues to grow, there's going to be more people, more people are going to make more content, more people need that content. But in the meantime, uh, you, you don't have to necessarily use Gato tutorials. You can also use Unity and Unreal tutorials. The, the underlying concepts and how to do those things, unless it's a specific engine feature, it, it's going to be the same across any engine because it's, it's just math and code. It's all the same. What do I mean by that? So uh, I'm making a, a first person shooter tutorial series and we're taking every uh, you know small part of a first person shooter. We're taking a look at it, we're, we're building it and we're making a tutorial on it. So one of the things I haven't gotten to is the whole leaning effect. And I've had a lot of people ask me about it and I, I swear I'm gonna get to it. So let's say you're making a first person shooter. You need to know how to do the, the leaning effect you can't find a video on it. There's no video on it in the Gato engine. You think, well, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm not going to know how to do this. Here's the thing. All you need to do is look up a Unity or Unreal tutorial. You know, Unreal's probably going to be a little bit different because it's in Blueprints, mostly. Um, but if it's in Unity, the, the scripting is not going to be that much different from Gato. And if you find a tutorial on leaning and they're talking about the concepts of well, you need to rotate this so, so much, and you can lerp this value. Those same principles are going to fit in the Gato engine. And in fact, um, you know, I would argue that it's going to make you learn a lot better because you kind of have to translate this to a different engine and you're going to have to internalize it. You can't just copy and paste, right? If you're coming from Unity, but you want to use the Gato engine, but you really like the tutorials that were in Unity, use Unity tutorials. It's okay. Like the stuff is still gonna work. And in fact, you'll probably uh, understand it a lot more than just finding a, a really specific tutorial and copy and pasting. That said, there's still uh, really good resources for the Gato engine. Um, you know, GD Quest is sort of the epitome of really high quality tutorial and, and teaching for the Gato engine. And I, I know Nathan and them are, are continuing to build that and they're gonna have new stuff out. It's a great place to start. And bonus, a lot of it's just free. So you can just go to the website and check it out. Now, if you do find someone who's making a tutorial that you need, but they don't have a lot of subscribers, subscribe, like give them some love, give them a like, comment on that video to help them grow and have more people see that content. It's gonna allow them to make more content that you need. And that means more tutorials, more Gato content. This is a little bit of a, a tangent, but I think there's this thought that there's this one way path from content uh, or, or creator stuff on, on YouTube and people making videos to the person watching those videos. If you're looking for Gato engine specific content, then if you find someone who's making something that's useful to you, give something back, give them that like, give them a comment, subscribe. It's going to help them grow. And in that way, they're going to get bigger, make more content, and then you have more stuff. It's a synergistic relationship between everyone. And, um, you know, if you're just going to stuff and taking it and then not giving something back and then wondering why there aren't more videos, like it might be why. 
So definitely find uh, some Gato YouTube people out there and, and give them some love, especially if they're making cool stuff. Maybe I should make a video about that. Um, like Gato YouTubers you should follow. That would be kind of cool. Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, if you got any questions about uh, the Gato engine, game development, anything in life, who I think is going to win the Super Bowl, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll talk about it. So thanks for listening and as always, keep creating.